Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome to Search and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran and in today's tutorial, I will tell you about some basic functions in Amos software. If you are new to Amos, then this tutorial will be very helpful for you. Before running confirmatory factor analysis, path analysis, or any other test which you want to run in Amos, first you need to understand these basic functions. So let me uh, tell you about some you know, most important functions that you often need to use while using Amos. First of all, if uh, you need to upload any data, so this option, you will go to this particular option, select data. And when you click it, this window will appear. And from here, you can just mention the location of your data. So like in our case, data CS. And from here, this one. And just click OK. When you click OK, so it means the data has been uploaded. So in order to make a diagram for any specific variable, we use this particular option. Just click this one. And based on, you know, if you have so many variables, then it is very important. You just, you just utilize this option rationally. Like, for example, I just tried to make uh, you know the size as much which should be appropriate according to our requirements like if you have only one one or two variables then and definitely it's easy you can draw a big uh, big circle but if you have multiple variables then it is better just to uh, just to use less space so that you will have more space to add more variables like we are supposing a one variable that having three items. So this is how you can draw it. So this option is very useful. Even after adding this particular variable, this, just for instance, we are having this CSR and it containing three items. So we are just, you know, putting these three items here, uh, items here against this variable. But in case later on you need to add any more items, just simply click again and just press one more time. And from here, you can just put the put the items that as we have already done with the three items. Now we are interested to add one more. So just click it and drag it here. And after that, like talk about these hand functions. This particular option is for if you want to select any particular object like this, this. So this is how you can select as much items or the objects as you want. But what if you want to select all your objects that are given in a particular page? then this second option. So just click it and so that all the objects are being selected. But in case if you want to deselect all, you can just use this particular option, all right? So after that, uh, let's talk about this particular option. This is more look like a radio. So what you can do by using this is you, if you want to create another variable that having the same items like in this case we have four items and but if we have you know an, another variable that also contain the four items so it is very good if rather than you know just draw all the items you can we can just simply click the, this option and we can just yes but the problem is is just only taking this one circle because because not all the objects are selected so if you want to duplicate the whole, uh, you know, the variable, then 
you must need to select first all the objects that are being attacked with one variable then you can actually duplicate so let's do it again first we need to select all and then just click this duplicate option and you can see now this is how we can duplicate one or more variables and after that as we know that okay that first deselect all let's suppose these four items are related with tl so we can just simply so this is how we can put the values related to our next variable so this duplicate option is very helpful and then let's talk about our next option this truck option this is also very useful if you want to just move any of your object like for example if we want to move the whole uh, this variable first we need to select all the objects related to one variable because we are interested to move the complete variable and now we can use the struct option just to oh sorry um these two objects were still missing so we need to select these two as well now yes we are in a position just to move all of our variable as you have seen that i already use this particular option by using this you can erase any of your variable or the object as this whole variable is being selected so this is how we can just delete the different objects then this particular option is if you want to you know if you want to change the size of any of your object like for example if we are just to just to you know just to enlarge our circle we can use it later at any time we can make different shapes and also this is how we can enlarge our different objects even this one as we see okay sorry so based on regular requirements you can make multiple changes now let's talk about this preserve symmetric option this is also very useful let's discuss how to apply it let's suppose if we want to move our this variable you know this is how it is difficult it is difficult to move because if we try it so this is how it goes but once we select this preserve symmetric option and then just try it so now you can see we can move whole of the object so this is also useful so from here this option we already discussed if we want to select a particular data so from here you can add the location of your data and let's talk about the next option analysis properties if you want to uh, add a particular option in your analysis so here you can find all those options numerics biases in the output if you need any per any of these options or you want any of them in your in your output so you can click them bootstrap and so on and from here you can uh, of course you can just uh, calculate your estimation when you click it so all the analysis is being calculated and you will have a output file if you want to change the direction of your objects then you can choose this option just click it and then you can, this is all you can change the direction of your objects if you want to rename your objects so just click it and this is how you can rename your objects and in the end just let's just talk about this plugin option this is also very useful like for example in this um, diagram we have certain 
objects that are having the no name at all. So what we can do is just assign a name to all our objects that have no name at all. This name unobserved variable. So you know you can see that the, all those those are objects that having no name. A name is already just assigned to them just automatically by by using this plugin. There are also more plugin which you can add uh, from the strategy website which are very useful if you are doing certain analysis like for example if you are interested to calculate average variance extracted and some other calculations then you can add those plugins as well. Now also let's uh, discuss one more plugin resize observe variable as you can see the uh, the item that the object that is representing the items CSR which is you know, not having the appropriate size let resize by using this option once I click it you can see now it look much better so this is how you can utilize different functions and also you can use this magic stick if you want to make a particular object look a little better so sometimes it uh, you know work very well so yes and you know again this symmetric option is very useful as it already been selected so this is how but if it not been selected so you can go yeah so it's quite disturbing so let's just click and so this is how you can use these functions while using ms i hope this video will be very helpful for you uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please click the bell icon while subscribing it so that you can get the notification of every new tutorial thanks for watching